Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Let's work with a text tool for a minute. Okay, so if you press your mouse key, whichever one you have it set up, your left or your right, when you press and you long hold it, so I'm still holding it, this uh, little options menu comes up. So you have all of these available to you. So let's just work with our regular type tool here. Okay, so I've just typed in one word. If I keep typing and I hit enter, um, and let's say now I'm not hitting enter, I'm coming down here and I am clicking my left mouse key. And I'm going to come down here, click my left mouse key again. So that was not enter, that was clicking my mouse key. Okay. We're going to talk about alignment here for a minute. So I'm going to come here, click on this one. Alignment for this one, because I use my enter key, will be found right here. So I can click that, and that aligns it to the center. This aligns it to the left aligns it to the right, right here, okay. Let's talk about this, the tracking, okay, that squishes your letters together, and that comes in handy for what? For when you have to path union them, or if you're a welder, if you want to weld it, I don't ever weld anything, I'm a path unioner, okay. And then the leading, that squishes these together. Those of us that love the Samantha font, <laughs> we know that this is really important for the Samantha font, okay? So then, when I increase the size of all of this, and I do my path, my union, wait for it to work, it is all joined perfectly, okay? So it's all connected. When it cuts, there's going to be nothing cut out, falling apart. Oops, oh my gosh, I forgot, okay? Now this one, because I did not hit enter, they are separate. So let's see what happens when I come up and I hit this. Nothing. Uh-oh, what do I do now? Well, we're going to go to the two arrows in the right panel. This is the alignment that you use when you hit the mouse keys instead of enter. Okay, so when you type, you click the mouse key. This is what you're going to use right here. So let's do it. Okay. So, yep, you can come up. Oh, that doesn't work. Nope. Come right on over here. And when you have two page clicked, that is going to center it or align it to the page. I don't want that. I want it to each other. Okay. So I just clicked the alignment to each other right here. All right, now, will this work right here? The tracking in that? Yes, the tracking this way works. But the leading here doesn't because it doesn't have anything to, to lead it to because these were all typed separately, okay? So what I do is I click and then I use my directional arrows, which is this one right here, okay? And then I will snap it up there. And I use my uh, keyboard arrows, or you can come over here and use your little nudge arrows if you want it. And they're grayed out right now. Why? Because I don't have anything selected. As soon as I select it, then they become available. Okay. All right. So now I can come in here. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I can come in here, I can blow it up, and look, oh, I can see that they're overlapping, which is perfect for my path union. Wait for it to work. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Let's check our preview. Awesome. So now when I cut, I'm not going to have cut lines that ginsu everything and ruin it. <laughs> okay. So that is how you go about doing that. That's the difference. This, when you hit the enter bar when you're typing. That is when all of this is available in the text. When you click your mouse button, 
you're going to have to result to using this, and that's just fine too, okay? All right, guys, if you have any further questions on that, come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Unfortunately, I cannot get to YouTube, but because it's a good thing, because we've gotten so busy helping so many good people that we just don't have time to get back here. All right, guys, the link to the YouTube or to the Facebook page, the group page that I own, is in the comment section.